Hi there, my name's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to, this is the second time I'm filming this because my first file got corrupted and I'm so excited about this fact. So listen, if I'm not freaking hilarious, it's because I forgot all of my jokes I made the first time around. So blame my phone, okay? Blame the phone. Gonna try really hard to not make this entire video just a passive aggressive frustration of my life. Okay, let's do it. Also, I'm filming in this super awkward place because this is what I have available to me right now. So welcome to my closet that has no doors. Hey, before we hop into the video, let's just scroll below the video, click subscribe, click thumbs up, and we'll all be better off. I, I promise. Thanks. You're awesome. You rock. So today, we're gonna be doing a little workout. If you're thinking, hell no, I don't wanna do a workout, hold on a minute. That's exactly what I think every day of my life. I'm super weak, so if I can do this, you definitely can. And since you're probably a normal person like me, you don't have thousands of dollars to spend on gym equipment, so we're just gonna be using anything in our house as weights. You could try water bottles, books, maybe just a little pepper shaker, whatever tickles your fancy, okay? Whatever floats your boat. Really, we're just trying to build up any resistance while we work out because we're feeling guilty about all the flab that we've gained since quarantine started. Now, because we may have self-confidence issues, let's get into the workout. So for our first workout, we're just gonna start off with a simple bicep curl. Take whatever weight you've grabbed into your hand and let's just do a simple curl up and back down. Nice. Now do that 10 times. Make sure you have your weight securely in your hand. You also want to make sure you're really getting that extension with your arm. Make sure it goes all the way down before you bring it back up. Nice. You're doing awesome. Now switch arms because you don't want to be weird and lopsided. Do it 10 times on that side. Workout number two is going to be a squat with a shoulder weight. Get your weight right up next to your shoulders by your ears. Make sure your feet are nice and wide and then do some squats. Keep your back straight and flat because, well, someone told me once that that's the right form. All right, do like 10 squats because that seems like the number we've chosen. For workout number three, let's do everyone's favorite thing and get down on the floor in a plank. Now we're gonna mix this up by alternating our arms. Why? Stop asking questions, just do it. So while you're in the plank, pick up your right arm and just pet your dog, all right? Then put it back down, pick up your left arm, pet your dog with that hand. Okay, now repeat it 10 times because at this point you should know that everything's intense. Did you do it? Cool. Workout number four is a lunge with a twist, plus a weight. Someone once told me that you're supposed to like mix up the different muscles that you work in order so that they can rest in between and stuff. So that's why we're, you know, going to the ground and then back up to our legs again. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know anything about working out. I just go off what I've heard and what people tell me to do. So you're in good hands. All right, now pick up your 10 pound weight and hold it right in front of you. And now we're gonna do a lunge and twist it out to the side and then twist it back center and stand back up. Now do it on the other side and then alternate back and forth 10 times. You might be asking, do I do 10 on each side? Do I do 10 total? You know what, just do whatever you want because uh, we don't even really wanna be here, do we? All right, are your legs feeling like jello? Good, you're doing it right. Workout number five is what I like to call the circle of life sit up. So get back down on the dirty floor because we want ourselves to have abs one day. Get your 15 pound weight and hold it right on your stomach like maybe you're holding a little baby Simba. Now sit up and push him up into the air like in the movie. If you just want to quit and die at this point, try to liven things up with a little singing. It's the circle of life and it moves us all and then it's many hanging it's the circle of life great job your vocal cords are amazeballs you should totally go pro we're exercising our voices at the same time wow amazing who knew we could do all the things at once 
All right, now while you're down there, just stay in that position, and now we're gonna do like a leg lift bridge thing. Come on, I don't know names. I feel like moves are called like five different things just depending on what gym you're at. All right, so you got your weight, and now you're gonna stick your leg out and do some lifting. Sweet, you're doing awesome. Do 10 on each side, and if I forgot to say 10 before, you know, do 10 of everything, you guys. We, we got it, we know at this point. So for our last two moves, let's take it back to middle school PE. Grab your 25 pound weight and set it on your lap as you sit against the wall in a wall squat. Are you getting flashbacks? Are you feeling self-conscious because you might be wearing super unflattering shorts around your friends and crushes? And also you're very nervous and insecure because you haven't built up your confidence in life yet? Great, now just hold that until your legs start to feel like they're gonna fall off your body. We just wanna make sure that when we wake up tomorrow, we won't be able to walk. Now take that wavering confidence down to the floor. All right, now pretend to be your middle school gym teacher and force yourself to just do full on sit-ups. You would think that at this point they would have figured out that literally every person on the planet just hates full on sit-ups. There's so many other options. But you know what, we're gonna do them anyway, because this is also a mind game, okay? So even though we might be questioning all our life decisions at this point, especially the decision that we made a little while ago to work out, we're gonna push through and we're gonna get through this together because we got through middle school, so we're gonna get through this too. Now hopefully your dogs will help you out holding your feet instead of some weird sweaty kid who you don't like. Instead of some weird kid that you don't know and you have to put your face right up next to theirs like multiple times. And why do we do this in school? Do 10 sit-ups and then you're done. Now to get your pump on, do the circuit again like two to four more times. I'm just gonna do it once though because I hate this. And by this I mean working out, but also kind of just moving my body in more ways than just walking normally. I really feel the most happy just on the couch. Does anyone else relate? But it does feel good to have done a little bit of exercise and to have gotten through a trial, a life sort of challenge. Congratulations, you made it to the end. You are killing it. You are doing so good in life. You are just at the top. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. You're doing amazing. You are just the best person ever in the entire world right now. Don't you even second guess it for a second. I feel accomplished. I hope that you do too. Thank you so much for being here and watching. It means so much to me. I appreciate you so much. If you want more, click that thumbs up right below the video and subscribe to me and my channel and my dogs and all the other weird things that I do here. You're amazing. You're awesome. Stay safe and healthy, and I will see you next week. You better be there. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, bye.